Hello all my chickadees, welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out Tattoos and Tulips, uh, the demo of course, and this looks adorable, I mean look at the artwork and everything. Um, this is by Meant to Be Studios and this is the first game I've played by them, but it looks amazing and I've been looking forward to playing it, so let's jump right in. <laughs> okay, start. Chapter 1. Here comes the sunflower. Even the teeniest of flowers can have the toughest... Oh! Busy bee flower shop. Unknown number. I miss you. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's my reaction too, okay? Oh, look! They have like a bumblebee plushie back there. I want that. <laughs> he looks very cuddly. But, um... Oh, it's partially voice act. Heck yeah. I glare at my phone screen, uncertain of what I should do. How do they possibly expect me to respond? Oh, I miss you too? Missed how you cheated and lied to me for eight months straight? Oh no. Oh no. I grip my phone and shut it off. I can't deal with this right now. What a perfect ending to a horrible day. Find it hard to even enjoy the sunset dancing across the Queen Anne's laces. Their perfect white taking on the sherbet, sherbet sky. Only an hour left until closing time. Then I can go to bed early and forget today ever happened. Oh, he blinked. I'm sorry, I missed it. Oh, but he, he has cute little freckles. Why do customers still feel so entitled to everything? How am I supposed to help that our delivery truck is late? I don't care if it's your wedding in a week, ma'am. I can't do anything about it. Oh, what's that? You're never coming back? Like I care. Have fun traveling halfway across town to the other florist. The one with more pests than petunias. God, I hate customer service. This stuff is for the birds. Or the fortunate souls like me who actually enjoy working here when it's just me and the plants. If only my granny owned a farm, but I'm a family I'm from a family of city goers who have barely a foot of grass to our name. Speaking of granny, she's probably in bed already. I look at the clock. 6:15. Yeah, she's definitely asleep by now. Uh, How am I supposed to pass the time for 45 whole minutes? I find myself continually looking at the clock. Foolishly thinking that every time I look back at it, a decent amount of time had passed. But it barely moves. I hope the clock's not broken. When was the last time that thing was fixed anyway? Feeling hopeful, I look at the time on my phone, greeted by the pesky notification from my ex still plastered on the screen. I swipe to and remove it. Then I realize, to my horror, that the fact was in the clock was in fact running fast. It's actually 6.10. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that just made it worse. I slam my head down on the counter. I scream if I had a pillow, but maybe I can get away with it since no one's here. I suck in a breath, then I hear the door chime. Of course. I shoot my head up, not making any attempt to mask my mood. Who could possibly need flowers at this time? Why doesn't Granny just close the shop earlier? No one ever shows up at the last hour anyway. I look up, not expecting to see anyone in particular. Maybe a businessman or a mother and daughter? Ooh, hello! But instead, I see a man around my age. Maybe early 20s? Oh, he's cute. Hello! The more I look at him, the more I realize that everything about him is striking. He, he has long hair and terracotta skin. He's tall and muscular, with tattoos covering one arm and a smaller one on his shoulder blade. He's carrying a black book in his hand. But the thing that stands out the most is his smile. He's beaming, all teeth, looking right at me. It's the brightest smile I've ever seen a person wear. I'm sure he can keep the flowers constantly fed with it. As strange as it is, it definitely suits him. I hate myself a bit when I realize the obvious. He's gorgeous. My stomach twists at the realization. 
This is an unfamiliar sensation. I felt this way before too many times. And I sighed in that moment, not again. Hey, what time do you guys close? Ah, voice acting. It's an innocent enough question. Though I don't know what guys he's referring to. I'm clearly the only one standing here. But my confusion and irritation is enough to pull me right back down to reality. If he just stood at the door a second longer, he'd have seen that we close at seven. I suck in a breath as I tell him. Seven, and not a minute later. I've been here forever. I feel annoyed instantly. I can't focus on anything outside of my tired eyes and sore neck. I'm short showing on my face, but I don't care. Not today. Well, to be fair, not really any day. But especially not today. Oh, great. I'll try not to be too long. Oh. You want to do what? I ask immediately, not even taking the time to think over what he said. Draw. I brought my sketch pad. He lifts up his black box, to sh black book, to show me. I don't say anything. Hopefully, he'll take the hint and just leave or explain himself better. He rubs the back of his neck and avoids my eyes. Hmm. He seems like a scary guy. I'm surprised that worked. I can also just purchase some flowers and take them home. But I'm not really good with plants, honestly. <laughs> oh, he want he wants to draw the flowers. So he's like, Can I just sit near and sketch? <laughs> and then we're just staring at him and he's like, Or I can take them home. <laughs> I just wanted to sketch the flowers. So I chose a time you guys weren't very busy, so I don't disturb the shop or Anything. I like his voice acting. Oh, that's a good voice actor. That's a first. No one has ever wanted to do that here. I'm still confused, but I hear him out. Tattoo artist across the street. Tattoo. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> he makes the peace sign with his fingers. No, not a peace sign. The number two. Oh, I get it. It almost sounds like he's trying to brag. So I shut him down in a moment. The name was equally dumb and clever. I've never heard of it. It's not entirely a lie. I know it exists, but I've never been. I have no business there. He tugs at the back of his neck, still smiling and shuffling his feet. I would have never expected someone who looks like him to do such a thing. Well, I mean, tattoo artists, they gotta know how to draw. <laughs> if they're gonna make awesome, like, tattoos, I mean, they're still drawing it. I mean, some of them, like, trace the image on there, but... Still, it's good to know how to draw if you're a tattoo artist. From what I know. I find myself feeling sort of bad for being so harsh before. You don't have to buy anything. Uh, don't want you wasting your money on something you'll kill in under a week. <laughs> he shrinks a bit at that. Seeing such a sad display makes me realize just how much of a monster I'm being. Alright, I'll lighten up. Just a bit. But you can do whatever the hell you want. It's not my store. I could stand here and look pretty, I guess. <laughs> I shrug. I plan on laying my head back on the counter when he disturbs my peace again. Doing a good job. Huh? Hold on, did he? Is he hitting on me? This guy's just chock full of surprises. Or, you know, he thinks we're honestly doing a good job. I feel myself flush, but I don't let him see me. I shake it off and look him straight in the eyes, hoping that my trick will work a second time and he'll either retreat or address me. He meets my gaze for a moment, bites his lip, and averts his eyes. But he still addresses me, despite showing signs he'd flee. So, do you have any tattoos? He attempts to converse, even though I'm positive that he knows the answer already. My skin is plain, and the only marks on me are the freckles I was cursed with. Oh, they're cute, dude. But, um, I hope you guys can hear the, um, voice acting, uh, if I didn't turn it down too low. Because, I mean, the music's loud, but I guess I can turn down the music. Hmm. I'm gonna do that. 
turn down the music a bit. Voice volume's up. There we go. I want to make sure you guys can hear the voice acting. I should have done it earlier, but I got distracted. Okay, I turned it up a bit, so you guys should definitely be able to hear it. Okay. I look down at myself in my admittedly favorite yellow apron and white shirt, accompanied by naked arms. No, I think I just scare away all the old farts that come in here. Besides, I've always been pretty scared of needles. And blood. That's a shame on the needles part. They don't have to bleed. And usually that's a sign of overworking the skin. But regardless, I think you would look really good with one. Even if it's just a small hidden one. For instance, I have a little one right here. Oh! Oh, look at the expression! <laughs> he has a little sunflower on his hip. <laughs> Look at Chris. He's like, whoa. I see you blushing, Chris. I see you like that. <laughs> he lifts the hem of his shirt, holding it to his chest to reveal a little sunflower on his V-line, neighboring a six-pack. Six My mind turns to mush when he does that. I raise my hands as if to stop him and feel the blood rush to my face. It confirms my suspicious about him. I definitely don't trust this guy. Not because of his style or anything, but is he really here just to doodle flowers or whatever? That's the weirdest excuse I've ever heard. Is he trying to seduce me? I mean, maybe he's trying to do both. You know, sketch some flowers and hit on this cutie working at a, a flower shop. I mean, it could be both. Come on. I don't know why he'd want to do that, or what he'd gain. The store doesn't make that much money, and I can't offer him anything. So, I guess trusting him or not makes no difference. Aren't you supposed to be coloring or something? Oh, sorry. I only meant... Uh, anyway, I'll be over there with the tulips if you need me for anything. I'm unsure what to think, so I'll keep my eye on him. Not that it's a difficult task, though. He's very easy on the eyes. He pulls up a nearby stool and flips open the sketchbook before drawing the bouquet of tulips. I'll watch him for a bit. I'm not sure what I should do with myself. The only non-weird option is to just see what he's doing. As I get close to him, he drops his pencil into the sketchbook and meets my gaze, surprising me. He reaches his hand out to me. A handshake? My name is Shay, by the way. I take it and he flashes me another blinding smile. I almost flinch at the sight of it. Uh, Chris. The guy, Shay, cocks his head at my name tag. Huh. So it's pronounced like Chris, but you spell it like chrysanthemum. That's pretty sick. It is. That's a cool spelling of it. He thinks it's cool. I find myself struggling to respond, but luckily I find my footing. Yeah. My whole family are a bunch of flower enthusiasts. My granny owns this place, actually. Why am I telling him this? Why am I engaging in conversation with this guy? Because you're bored and you think he's cute. <laughs> Don't tell me it's just because he's attractive. I have higher standards than that. Don't I? Oh, cool. This place is really nice around this time. A lot less rowdy than my shop. Maybe, but it's a lot more boring here, especially around cro closing time. Shay scratches away at his sketch pad, and my curiosity gets the better of me. I peek down at the page. What I see is just a bunch of messy pencil lines, but it really does capture the accuracy and beauty of the t triumph tulips before him. You're not bad. I'm surprised at myself for even acknowledging it, let alone saying it. He coughs out a laugh like he's surprised I said such a thing. It's true. I'm not one for compliments, but, well, I felt it necessary to tell him. Thanks. I need to work on my flower drawing skills. Despite what he says, I can tell their tulips just by looking at them. I'm hoping the next time I tattoo a flower on someone, it'll look halfway decent. If the sketches are anything to go off of, he's more than halfway decent. He's very quick and accurate. 
With it a few more moments, he's already got a few more flowers on the page. Mostly the tulips, but there are sprinklings of dahlias and daffodils interspersed all different angles and interspersed all different angles and shapes. He captures the little details, the droplets from where I sprayed them earlier, the light curvature of the stems, or how many flower tendrils there are. So, did you really come in here just to draw flowers? He looks at me and raises an eyebrow. <laughs> yes, he did just come in here to, <laughs> to to draw flowers. We just took it out. We we're like, oh, he's in here to flirt with us. <laughs> oh, Chris's imagination. He's like, this guy came in here and he's flirting with me with the excuse of drawing flowers. Now, he, the boy's really just over there drawing flowers. Yeah, I needed a reference to draw flowers better. Tulips are pretty common. Also, roses and daisy daisies. I was also hoping to sketch those dahlias over there. He even points his pen to the correct group of flowers. I struggle a bit with all them, honestly. Uh-huh. He knows the name of some flowers? That's rare. Maybe he did his research before he came in. But he's being modest. If he was any better, he'd have just as well taken a picture of it. So, I remember this place and dropped by. I could have looked up a reference or something, but I like the real deal. You guys have a great selection. He looks around. You have flowers I didn't even know existed. Well, how many flowers do you know about? Hmm. More than most, but obviously not more than a florist would. I try not to feel too smug about it, but yes, I know a thing or two about the flowers. Doesn't make for a good conversation, though, so maybe I'll spare him the flower facts for the day. My phone chimes once again. I whip it out of my pocket. It better not be our ex. And we know our granny's asleep, so who could it be? After looking at it and realize it's another text from them, I swipe at it as fast as I can. Maybe a bit too aggressively, I admit. Che gives me a confused look, and I realize how unnecessarily I acted before before. Great. Now I have to explain myself. Or, you know, you just could just leave him in the dark. I tend to do just that, but he just raises a hand to stop me. Hey, you don't have to explain yourself, man. It's none of your business. He says it while maintaining that same infectious smile. Does his face not hurt? Maybe you should take up a job as a news broadcaster. But that's really cool that he, like, respects our privacy. He's like, dude, you don't have to tell me or tell me what's going on. Totally fine. <laughs> he continues to sketch way. I guess I don't need to come up with an excuse then. Alright, well, good. It just gets me heated to think about it anyway. Can't we block our ex? Or do well, if he still knows our number, I guess. Oh, it did say unknown number at the beginning, so maybe he is, like... Getting, got a new number, using different numbers to contact us. So, I mean, you can only do so much unless Chris goes out and completely changes his own number. But, I begin, begin to think our conversation dies there, and I don't know how to keep it alive. Or, if I even want to, for that matter. Luckily, and to my surprise, Shay keeps talking. You don't mind if I keep coming back in here to draw, do you? I shake my head. Do whatever you want. He flashes me another smile. He finishes his sketches while I start closing up in the remaining time. And we do our own thing in each other's company. I'd even go so far as to say it's pleasant. Closing time comes quicker than I expected it to. I start packing up my stuff and Shay does the same. We meet uh, each other at the door. And I remember that I don't need to leave. I'll live upstairs. <laughs> Am I some kind of idiot? Well, you were a little distracted <laughs> by Shay. You're like, I'm going to leave with Shay. It's like, wait, I live here. <laughs> I uh actually forgot to do something. I back away from the door. I can't believe I did that. Oh, gotcha. It was nice talking to you, Chris. It was? Yeah. It isn't much of a farewell, but he seems satisfied with that. Have a good night. I'll be seeing you around. Likewise. 
Must be because he's right down the street. I can see him any time I'll look out the window if I try hard enough. Or had a pair of binoculars. Do we have a pair of binoculars? But that's creepy. And with that, he waves me goodbye and he's gone a moment later. I stare at the spot where he stood for another moment before I realize just what I'm doing. I retreat behind the counter and pull out my phone. What I thought was another text from my ex is instead a text from my best friend, B. Uh, the first good friend I've had since, well, elementary school. I had to cut out, cut off a lot of my friends from high school and afterwards, effectively leaving the life I led with them behind. The alcohol, the drugs, and crime right along with it. It's been two years since then, but my life pales in comparison to those days. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting comfy again. Yeah, when you grow up, you discover a new friend group <laughs> most of the time. Uh, always exciting, always unplanned, always filled with danger. I don't miss it, of course. I gained a lot of resentment from my folks. Even so, as f even so far as being kicked out and forced to stay with Granny here. But ever since I've been good, for a lack of a better word. My life is now a boring one, but I find joy in flowers. I always was an outdoorsy kid, but now I really can't imagine myself not having greenery in my life. Beach those backstabbers I called friends any day. At least I can see those see the thorns on a rose. Well, all my friends were backstabbers, except for B. When I uh first moved here two years ago, she showed me friends I didn't have to be she showed me friends didn't have to be in name alone. I could call her. I really, really want to hear her voice. I need some form of comfort. What a day. I feel like I haven't been able to breathe for a whole hour. Ooh, chapter two! Best buds. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this is B. The second I hear her sweet voice, I can feel my eyes start to well up with tears, my throat tightening up. I prevent myself from giving in just yet. Hey, are you busy? I need to vent for a bit. I sound a bit stiff. Are you in an okay headspace to hear me rant? Yeah. Also, I'm never too busy for you. What's wrong? That's all it takes for the floodgates to open up and out comes the waterworks. I, I had such a bad day. First I overslept, then a customer yelled at me, and to top everything off, my stupid ex texts me out of the blue. Like, what do they want? I haven't spoken to them in months. And today, of all days... What did they say? I miss you. Can you believe that? Well, yeah, actually. You were really great to them. They, however, were a major douche. I know. They just... The whole time we were together, they never said nice things like that to me, and now... Why? Don't listen to their bull. They are just trying to manipulate you, sweetie. You are so much better without them. Do you want me to fight them? <laughs> I'll do it. I know people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's... She's a best friend, alright. She's like, I am gonna go... Beat him up for you, okay? Oh, the model really is crying. Look at Chris. Oh, no. Poor boy. I won't listen, I swear. I'm happy I got out of that relationship. And uh, I appreciate your, uh, enthusiasm. Uh, I'm just... It's so frustrating. I know, honey. I'm so sorry. Have you not blocked them? I start to wipe at my eyes with my forearm. Seems like crying is helping me calm down a bit. I'm not even sad. Just really angry. Fed up and now a bit embarrassed. But I knew that B wouldn't judge me. She never does. Don't apologize. You didn't do anything. And I did block them. But they keep making new numbers. Say, say, I was right. Uh, I need to change mine. Yes, you do. Yeah, you really do. And I know it's not my fault, but 
I'm just sorry you have to go through that. And don't worry about being late. I'm sure your granny didn't mind. Oh, it's me now. Okay. <laughs> that was a lot of voice acting, actually. It was good. It was good. It was just, that was a lot of voice acting. I know, but she had to open up for me, open for me this morning, and it made her late for a doctor's appointment. I feel horrible. Well, did she say she was upset with you? I think about it for a moment. Granny does, doesn't know how to be subtle or secretive. If she was upset with me, I'd probably know it. Well, no. Then don't get so worked up. You're always on time. If she had a problem, she would have said so. Besides, everyone makes mistakes. And about that customer, they can shove it. It isn't anything personal. They're just trying to feel powerful by talking down to us working class people. I understand that, but it just was all too much today. Hey, I hear you. I'm not undermining it. It's always going to be hard. I work in customer service too, remember? And a mall of all things? People are crazy in malls, let me tell you. I can't tell you how many freak out at me over the smallest things. Why are their jeans only in sizes three and four? What about five? She starts quoting what I assume is some customer she dealt with, doing a siri silly Karen-esque impression. Anyway, was there anything else that happened? Anything else you want to talk about? Something comes to mind and I hesitate, feeling a bit silly for doing so. This is B I'm talking to. She's one of the only people I know I can tell the tell about this. Besides Granny. Well there was this guy. Hmm. She hums, giggling to herself. She already knows what I'm about to say. Am I that predictable? How many times have I had the same discussion with her about an attractive person? Well, many times actually. Besides flowers, 20-something-year-old cuties were my absolute witness, weakness. I'm listening. It's not like that. Oh, you sure? Look, I see that blush going on, buddy. I attempt to lie, but she sees right through it. Oh, so you just want to talk about some random customer then? Of course not. What is the fun in that? No. Chris, stop holding out on me. Tell me about them. Well, he's uh, a tattoo artist. He works across the street. A tattoo, he said. Get it? Tattoo like the number two? Uh, it's stupid, I know. <laughs> she sounds surprised. What's up? Hey. Uh, just that... Mm, uh, doesn't sound like your type. Huh? I don't have a type, you know that. Oh, does she like him? The type for me is hot, plain and simple. He was very nice. He came here to draw some flowers for a reference or something. Nice? No, that's not your type at all. Okay, okay, theory time. She knows who we're talking about and she likes him. So we're tr he's tr she's trying to detour us. She isn't? entirely wrong and maybe that's why I'm in the situation now. I shake my thought uh, from my head before I can it can get a hold of me. Still, I enjoyed being around a genuinely kind human being. It's a nice change of pace. He didn't look kind, but he definitely was. We talked for a bit. He said he wants to come back. Wow, that doesn't sound so bad. What does he look like? Huh. He's got long black hair, dark eyes, piercings, muscles, a tattoo on one arm, and his skin is flawless. And uh, get this, he's got the cutest <laughs> sunflower tattoo on his stomach and a six pack. That sounds very adorable and very hot. I nod eagerly, though she can't see me. So what, you're telling me you're not going to ask him out? I can't. But I can still acknowledge that he's an attractive guy. I have eyes, after all. You can't? Well, 
Yeah, I mean, I can, but I can't. I'm still so damaged from my other relationships. It's just way too soon. I mean, I can't even receive a text message from my ex without freaking out. Rushing into something else would just make things worse. Besides, he's too good for me. You said it yourself. I never said that. You just chose to hear that. Chris, you're great. You're just a bit bent at the moment. You don't want to believe you're capable of dating. You're just a bit out of it right now, and you need time to heal. But that's really mature of you. You're a better person than me. I'd be all over that, like bees on a hunt. It's a shame. He sounds like a real catch. He really is. Hey, why don't I ask him out for you? No, 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 no. No way. But you literally just said. It's... Mm, oh. Well, it's... Well, I'm just talking to somebody else already. Oh, so she already has someone she's uh, potentially going to be dating. Hmm. Are? <laughs> this is the first I've heard of him. Who is it? Uh, hey, Chris? She diverts, but I indulge her since she's been so patient with me. It's not one of her strong suits, admittedly. What? Do you want to have dinner with me and a friend of mine? At the Jade Place, of course. She's trying to distract me, distract me with food, and it's working, but I won't let her get away with it that easily. Oh? Is this friend a special someone? Yeah, you could say that. Then bring them along. We can go out tonight. I could go for some mozzarella sticks right about now. <laughs> I'm starving. I feel my mouth drool at the thought of them. Sure thing. Meet us there in an hour. Oh, I hope she's... It's not, uh... Oh, I already forgot his name. <laughs> Shay. Okay. No, no problem. problem. See you then. And, uh... B? Yes? Thanks for listening to what I have on my mind. Now and, well... Every time before. You don't have to thank me. I know you do the same for me, too. I'll see you soon. Be safe. Love you. Love you, too. The phone hangs up a second later, and I head upstairs. I don't get any food in me. If I don't get any food in me, I'm going to collapse. Chapter 3. Rose to the Occasion. I love that it's all got, like, flowers in it. It only takes me a moment to get a shower and into some clothes that aren't covered in pollen. I begin to make my way to the Jade Palace, which is only a five minute walk down the road. It's the only restaurant B and I seem to eat at anymore. It has the most and best vegetarian options. Maybe it's not the healthiest place to eat, though most of their veggies are deep fried. Not that I'm complaining. But it's a cool place, though it was hell when I worked there. Mainly because customers are way worse than food establishments. My co-workers and their owners were all awesome, so I like coming back just to see them when I can. At this time of day, a walk is the perfect way to unwind. The city seems to simmer down alongside the setting sun. I see a cat. There's a cat. Is that just a neighborhood cat or is that our cat? Everyone is either returning home from work, eating dinner, or relaxing before bedtime. Most people my age might consider this to be a con, but for someone like me, it's one of the pros of living here. Once I'm in the parking lot, I pull my phone out and call B. I don't even bother going in and looking for her. I just want to know exactly where she chose to sit. That way, I don't look like some child that lost their mom at the mall. It's our usual routine, so our conversation is short. You hear? I can hear some noise in the background, so I know she's already inside and seated. For Wednesday night, it seems pretty busy. Oh, yeah. It is Waffle Fry Wednesday. Unlimited Waffle Fries for six nine nine. Waffle Fries? What's a Waffle Fry? I want a Waffle Fry. I'm out in the parking lot. Alright, we're sitting in the third booth to the right. She hangs up and I walk inside. The place is Packed more than usual, even though it's pretty popular most days. Oh, yeah, she mentioned bringing a special friend. I wonder who they are. Guy, girl, tall or short? 
Who knows? Bees, bees types range so drastically. It could be anyone, as long as they're cute. I follow her directions and spot her. And, set across from her is a large figure. I take a closer look as I approach. Wait, I've seen that tattoo sleeve somewhere. No! No! Is that the tattoo artist guy? Huh? Oh no! <laughs> is this the friend she's interested in? Oh no! Oh, poor Chris. Poor Chris. No! Shay? Oh god, it is him. It takes everything in me not to turn on my heel and book it. The ba bee spots me, waving me over. Too late. Any hope I had of escaping was squashed in an instant. He greets me with a toothy grin from around the corner of the booth. Chris! What, what's going on? He looks between him and me and has the nerve to ask. Oh, you guys know each other? Yeah. Hardly. Did he say yeah? More like not even close. We met for the first time today an hour ago and he barely spoke. How do you guys know each other? Wait, are they dating? Hold on, did I say I was making eyes at the guy she was dating? Holy, oh no, 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 I'm the worst friend on planet Earth. She sees me start to panic and stops me. Wait, we aren't dating, Chris. Shay and I have been friends for a long time. You have? How come I've never seen or heard of him before? I realize it's a dumb question. B doesn't have to give me the rundown on every friend she has. If she did, we'd never get back to our regular lives. How come you didn't tell me on the phone earlier? She thinks for a second. Remember what we talked about? I almost recite the conversation, but I remember Shay was still sitting there watching us. Oh, um, yeah, that makes sense. Sorry. I try to salvage myself. He looks between us suspiciously. Okay, they're not dating. They're not dating, but they're friends. Is she trying to hook us up? <laughs> Should I, um, give you guys a second? We'll talk about it later, Chris. Don't worry. Shay, it's not important. Just personal stuff. Oh, um, no problem, I think. <laughs> B laughs it off. That's really cool that you guys are friends. I slip into the booth on the opposite side of Shay and sit next to B. How am I just now finding out that she's friends with him? She never talked about him before. Wait, that's not inherently a strange thing. It makes sense she wouldn't come right out and tell me before today. But why not after I brought him up? It's true. If she said her special friend was the guy I was making eyes at earlier, I definitely would not have come. That's why she'd have to trick me. I'm stuck. My palms start to sweat and I shake my leg. I put my hand on my knee to try to control it, but it does little to help. I reach for the menu at the end of the table. Despite never needing one before... I always get the same thing, a large order of mozzarella sticks and, and a green smoothie. I scan through the pages as if the drinks and appetizers are the most capita capitating things I ever read. B can tell my behavior is off, but it's kind enough not to draw any attention to it. She's got some explaining to do once this is all said and done. So you're telling me since you've been back, you haven't eaten here? Her voice is dripping in disbelief. I can't blame her. It's a crime not to frequent going here. Well, not inside. I usually eat whatever my co-workers bring to the shop. Co-workers bring to the shop. I'm sure they've brought me food from here before. Oh, you'd know if they had. Chris and I were both servers here two years ago. That's how we first met. We both hated it. It has to be good if you chose to come back to a place you hated working at. That's a good point. If the food wasn't half as good as it is, I never show my face here again. So, if you guys say it's good, then color me excited. <laughs> he rubs his hands together and I chuckle at that. The second I realize, I cough to mask it. It wasn't even a good joke. Was it even a joke at all? We never start laughing just to make things more comfortable. Or to make others feel more so. Maybe my hunger is making me loopy. That's the spirit. B cheers him on. She's so cute. I love her. I couldn't ask for a best friend, better best friend. Actually, a better best friend would have told me the guy I was talking about was joining us for dinner. But I'm choosing to believe there is a good reason for it. She's always been a good friend to me, so I digress. For now. So, 
How did you guys first meet? B shoots me a look of surprise. I don't think it's a strange question. Quite the opposite, in fact. Seems as if it's the elephant in the room. Who? Shay and I? She feigns, feigns ignorance. I squint at her. What kind of game is she playing? Is there something I shouldn't know? Shay doesn't say anything. Just watches me watch B. It's silent for a moment more. We've known each other for quite a while. She answers as vaguely as possible. We were friends in high school. Are you guys exes or something? B jumps up and waves her hands at me. No, 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 not at all. And Shay shakes his head. B's great, but I'm gay. Oh, that's good to know. Wait, is it though? I want to ask more, but I don't want to out myself in the process. Instead, I stay patient and keep digging. Asking little questions after little question until she gives in. How come you never invited Shay out before? This one's a bit more risky. I could be talking out of my ass. I don't know for a fact whether or not they've hung out before this or not. But I'm assuming B and I are close enough at this point that she would have mentioned having such an important friend at some point in our relationship. At least, I would mention it to her. Now that I think about it, do I even know if Shay is that important a friend to her? Or did they know each other of each other in high school and were never really friends? Chris is so far in his head at the moment, guys. <laughs> Are you guys just acquaintances from school then? No, Shay. Shay's ex and I used to be best friends. Shay seemed to harden a stone at the mention of his ex. So it's immediate. It's so immediate his entire face sinks and his eyes darken. Oh no, I completely get it. Just the sheer mention of an ex seems to poison the atmosphere. B places her hand on his shoulder and mouths an apology, but he shrugs it off. Despite being so bothered by it before, oh, it must have been a very bad relationship or breakup. Hmm, I wonder what's going on there exactly. There's a story there and I want to read it. Now's not the time, Chris. Not the time. <laughs> So maybe now it's not a good time. Yes, exactly. It seems that if we mention his ex again, he might not be able to hold down his food. I want to give him some form of encouragement. Hold in there, guy. It'll get all better. I'm no expert on exes, even if I have several at this point. But once you start living for yourself again, things will get better. I feel the words get caught in my throat. I want to tell him that, but I can't bring myself to do it. I went to get another tattoo a couple months back. Just a tiny one in my ear, see? B shows me a tiny little swallow on the inner upper shell of her ear. She's shown me before, but with as many friends as she has, she probably doesn't even remember who uh, she did or didn't tell. I take a good look at it this time. It's cute. Even in such a small space, it's got a decent amount of detail and doesn't look muddy at all. I'm no tat tat tattoo expert, of course, but Shay did a hell of a job. Just from the little I've seen him do so far, I've already know he's great at what he does. And while I was there, I noticed Shay not only works there, but also owns the place. Ah. Way to go, Shay. This is news to me as well, but I'm not too surprised. I glance over at him to see what kind of smug expression he's going to make, but he doesn't flinch or try to further explain. Uh -huh. That's odd. You think someone would want to brag about owning their own shop, especially so young. So we got talking and caught back up. He just took over the old tattoo shop, the one with the guy who's always offering to give nipple piercings. This is his first time coming back here since we graduated. Oh, that makes sense. Something still doesn't entirely sit well with me, but I decided I'm going to let that go until the end of the ex excursion. Try to unwind from a stressful day as best I can with some hot, gooey mozzarella sticks and a tall, delicious green smoothie. I set down my menu while the two of them pick up theirs. B is one of those people who likes to get a new thing off the menu every time. Me, a creature of habit, so I tend to stick to the same comfortable set of things. I am the same way. <laughs> Whenever I go to a place, I'm, I, uh, like 99% of the time, I'll get the same thing I had before because I know I like it. <laughs> so, I am a creature of habit as well, Chris. I understand. What are you getting, Shay? 
He scans it over for a moment longer. Does this encrusted tilapia have nuts in the breading? Yeah, it does. You might want to find something else. I cock an eyebrow at that. I'm deathly allergic to peanuts. Restaurants can easily mess that stuff up. If I were you, I wouldn't put my trust in some minimum wage job. Well, yeah, it's scary, and you never really know. No matter how careful people claim to be, but that's why I carry my EpiPen with me everywhere. He smiles in such a way it seems like he's trying to comfort me instead of himself. I decide to list off whatever I think a guy like him would eat, being careful not to list off anything with any potential nut allergens. Whether it be a big burger, an order of nachos, or a country fried steak dinner, all of which he declines. I list off one last thing before I decide to give up. What about a chili dog? I'm a vegetarian, so I don't eat it, but a lot of people seem to love it. His eyes light up at that. Bingo. Yeah, that sounds really good. Do you recommend guy uh do you recommend you guys fries or onion rings? I think that over and so does Bia. Tough choice. But I'd have to go with our onion rings. Though waffle fries are on sale today, all you can eat. Oh no, I'm trying to stay in shape. He pats his stomach, or rather his abs. I think back to them and I start to feel hot. <laughs> what can what am I, a teenage girl? They're just muscles, man. Get it together. <laughs> The waitress comes to take our order, and Shay does. In fact, order the chili dogs, a uh, chili dog with a side of onion rings. I order my food, and Bay orders herself some pork dumplings. So, how do you know Chris? Or so, how do you know Chris is a girl? I'm startled by that. I wasn't expecting her to act like she didn't already know. But I'm thankful for it because at least I'm a little curious to hear his side. I don't know how it would really differ from mine, besides the lusting after him part. I curse at how simplistic I am. All it takes is a cute face and my head is gone. He probably didn't even think twice about it. I'm just the floors he was forced to interact with if he wanted to sketch in peace. Did I talk his ear off? Was I bothering him? Even if I had, I think he's too nice to admit it, especially in front of me. So I don't know what else to expect out of his answer, other than general kindness. I met him when I came into the Busy Bee a couple hours ago. Instant friends. Instant friends. Are we, though? Friends, that is? What makes you friends with someone? I guess just getting along with someone can make you friends, right? At least by the general def uh, definition. Or am I thinking too much into it? To me, friends is an important title to give someone, but maybe he doesn't see, me see it that way. Let's not think about it too much. Yeah, boy, you're already so far in your head overthinking everything right now. That's awesome. Chris isn't great at making friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's calling us out. She giggles. I throw a cardboard drink menu at her from the table. Why are you talking about me like I'm not here? What? It's true. She's right, but she doesn't have to say it. We're friends. Oh, good point. I roll my eyes at her. Really? I didn't get that impression. You seem plenty friendly to me. So he says, but there's no sarcasm I can detect. <laughs> Shay's like, oh, he was friendly to me. And Chris is over there like being like, get out. <laughs> For a while. Chris is charming in his own way. I loved him from jump. I threatened to chuck another table item at her, but I'm interrupted by the sincerity. I wasn't expecting her to get all ooey gooey on me. I don't have time to comment on it, though our food is arriving and I'm unable to hear his response. <gasps> Look at the chibis! <sighs> Normally I'd feel pretty bad about it, but one look at the fresh food wipes that feeling from existence. We don't spend too much time conversing since we're all too busy stuffing our face. Look at the chibis! That's so cute! Ah, uh, those look like dumplings. Fries, aww. Oh. I like it. <laughs> wow. This one is good. I think this might be the best hot dog I've ever had. B nods with pride as if she made it herself. What I tell you, Jade Place is the best. I nod. You only got mozzarella sticks? Only? It just doesn't seem like a lot. Do you want some of my onion rings? 
It's nice of him to offer, but I decline. This is all I need. B giggles at that. He eats like a bird. A bird who loves fried <laughs> cheese. I shrug it off. Saves you money, doesn't it? Huh? Who said I was paying for this? You invited me out. Shay stops his boat. It's on me tonight. Aw. I stop in my tracks. Oh man, I didn't even consider he was going to pay for it. Does that mean I'm indebted to him? I mean, I can pay for mine. It's no big deal. No, man, I insist. He looks me in the eye to prove that he's serious. It doesn't take much for me to surrender. In that case, thanks. I shuffle my feet underneath the table, trying to keep myself from bumping my legs with his. It's no problem at all. Eat up. Also, do you guys want dessert? We did, in fact, want dessert. We all end up splitting a large lava cake, and it was delicious. But now I feel like I can't move an inch, and I'm not alone. And my diet was going so well. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous for her to say so. She never really had a diet to begin with. No one really needs one. She should, uh, she should stop trying to force herself to stick to these diets she clearly doesn't want to follow. Why don't you just, I don't know, not diet if you hate it so much? You look good no matter what. Because Chris, because Chris, even if I hate it, I want to have lots of energy to keep doing things. These noodle arms aren't going to allow me to rock climb or anything really fun. I feel bad for discouraging her. That's a good point, actually. That does sound like a good reason. Shay nods. My diet is actually ruined, though. Now I have to avoid sugar for a whole month if I want to calor- Uh, if I want to recover from this. I'm a weak, weak person. Oh my gosh. I mean, I respect people that diet, but oh my gosh. <laughs> you have to avoid sugar for a month? To recover from, I'm guessing, a piece of cake and a hot dog? Oh my gosh. This is why my diets always fail, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's sad. He says it as if he's made a terrible financial decision. Though I've never had big defining muscles before, I imagine it's a lot like a lot of work to obtain and maintain them. Health must be very important to him. Me too, but my diet doesn't keep me from eating delicious pastries. Between the two of us, who's the real winner here? Shay drags the bill off the table and struggles to get up out of his seat before slumping over to the front counter to pay. I'll meet you guys out in the parking lot. B and I make our way into the cool night. Summer is on its way and I try not to feel uh, sad about it. I don't need a tan or to sweat half to death. I need healthy plants and to wear jeans without dying of heat stroke. It isn't long before Shay joins us outside. I feel our little excursion coming to an end. It wasn't so bad, but that doesn't mean Bay B is off the hook. I still got plenty of questions to ask her when Shay isn't around. Thanks again, Shay. That was awesome. We ought to do this more often. What? Have me pay for dinner? He chuckles. She elbows him in the ribs and he pretends like it hurts. I did have fun though. We should get together again. They look at me and I freeze. Yeah. Uh, v snickers at me and I want to kick her. Why does she keep embarrassing me? How about we go somewhere tomorrow? You're off tomorrow, right, Chris? Yeah, Granny works on Thursdays. The shop isn't too busy then. Shay? I don't open the shop until 4, so if we do, we do something in the morning, I'm more than free. What are you thinking, B? I want to go to City Park. Shay shrugs. Sounds good to me. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Cool. So, I was thinking we can have a picnic and go for a little hike. Does everyone want to bring stuff to eat? He looks hungry again. How's that even possible? We literally just ate. I'm sure I can pick up some stuff from the store. I'm not the best cook in the world or anything, but everyone likes chips and baked beans, right? Oh, I can just buy something instead of cooking? Yeah, you don't have to make anything. We can't all be chefs like Chris here. I puff up with pride when she says that. If enjoying cooking and trying to get better at it makes me a chef, then I guess I am one. Shay rubs his stomach. I look forward to it. 
You're hungry again already? Oh my gosh, you were, you were literally stuffed like five seconds ago, and now you're hungry again. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, he's 23. I looked it up. He's 23, and Chris is 20. <laughs> you have really high metabolism, don't you, Shay? I didn't meet his now hungry gaze. Don't tell me you're still hungry. We just ate. Again, she's on the same wavelength as me. What? I have a fast metabolism. I called it. <laughs> I was right. I might hit the gym on my way home and eat something before bed. It's already 8 p.m. and he's thinking about going to the gym? Is that insanity or dedication? I don't know. Oh, I just remembered. I get to wear my brand new shoes. She starts spinning around like a little girl in a princess dress. I need to think about what I'm going to wear. What time are we meeting up again? B thinks for a moment. 10 a.m. sounds good for everyone. I nod and Shay gives her a thumbs up. Then it's settled. All right, I'm heading out. I had a lot- er, this is Shay. Ah. Uh, all right, I'm heading out. I had a lot of fun tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow, bright and early. Good night, Shay. I miss you already. Night, beautiful. Night, Chris. I was taken back and could only choke out a miserable night. That's all he needed to hear before he jogs off. Wait, does that mean he jogged all the way here too? We watch him as he goes for a moment before looking back at each other. She giggles, which makes me do the same. Curse her. I'm supposed to be serious right now. I have to ask her what the hell all this was about. Okay, so I'm sure you have questions. She easily reads my mind. Why did you invite him out after what we talked about? Chris, I know you well. I knew you'd avoid coming altogether if I said I was inviting him. Hell, you nearly tried to sprint out the door when you saw him. You said you didn't plan on acting on your feelings, so I figured this was the goodest time as need to make a new friend. She has a point, so I find it hard, very hard to combat her. I don't want to have a relationship with him, and I don't want to make friends. Plus, he's a good friend of mine. This is his first time being out in a, uh, in about, out and about in a while. I really can't go into why, personal stuff, but I think he also needs every friend he can get. You two seem to get along. I mean, if you honestly do don't like him, you don't have to keep hanging out with him. But by everything you said in the phone earlier, you seem to enjoy his company. I mean, it's hard to dislike the guy. I don't know if that makes us friends or anything, but maybe acquaint- Ah! Uh, this is Chris's inner voice, and I'm still talking like Bay. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's all like morphing together at this point. I mean, it's hard to dislike the guy. I don't know if that makes us friends or anything, but maybe acquaintances isn't so bad. Yeah, he's fine. Bay rose her eyes. You don't have to love him or anything, but he does seem to like you, at the very least. I feel my her head tur turn to static at that. You know what I mean. Like I said, he's a really nice guy. Anyway, I gotta get back home. Feel free to text me. But I'll see you in the morning, right? I nod. Good. Love you. She gives me a hug. Thanks, B. Love you too. She rubs on back before letting go. It's nothing. Get some rest. I got home and I do just that. Okay, oopsie daisy. <laughs> okay, um. Oh, look at his room. It's covered in plants as well. Okay, I'm actually going to end it here. I want it to get through chapter three because uh, the demo has six chapters in it. So we are officially halfway through the demo. And I can pick up the, uh, the last three chapters of the demo in the next part. Uh, make, if you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like down below so I know you're looking forward to it. And that helps me know to get out the part sooner than uh, just pushing it back for a while. Um, I am going to record it anyway, but I get distracted. I'm, I'm a bird, of course. Uh, I see a shiny and I have to go to the new shiny. So, <laughs> you guys liking it or commenting helps me remember, oh yeah, I need to get the next part out soon. But... I liked it. Um, it was a lot of voice acting in uh, um, chapter two, was it? 
it was a lot of voice acting in that, which is always really cool for video games. And it was kind of cool. I could just sit back and listen to them. Um, they had good voice acting. I like the, the art. The art is really nice. Really nice. <laughs> and, um... I'm, I'm interested to see what happens. There's a lot going on, like, that we don't know of. Because there's definitely more going on with Shay. Like, he had a bad breakup, and apparently, according to B, he hasn't, like, really got out much. So, does that have to do with his breakup? And why he doesn't want to leave the house? Or, you know, leave his work much? Um, but the cool news is we're going to be hanging out with him today, too. So, maybe we'll get more info. Um... But yeah, I'm going to leave this here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!